Hello, welcome to this tutorial at Anime Studio. Today I'm going to show you how to make a particle and use that particle in a Anime Studio project by importing it and getting it to play at a certain time on the timeline. So first I'll make a particle by clicking on the new layer button and then go down to particle and then drag the vector layer into the particles layer and when it turns red like this drop it in there and next I'll put a star here now you're not really limited to just drawing these quick shapes on this age you can draw something by hand or import a picture or something like that whatever you put on into this particle layer will become a particle so I, I've drawn this vector layer if I click play here nothing's going to happen um, so what you have to do is click on the particle layer here and then it will activate it as an emitter. I'm also going to change the length of the timeline to 50 so I'll change this 240 to 50 and now this movie will only be 50 frames long and this particle is done so I'll save it here and overwrite my existing particle layer been practicing with and next make a new anime studio project and let's say in this project there was a few things already made here maybe I want to put a box in here move this into place and at a certain time I want the particles to come on the box so what I can do here is uh, about frame 100 I'll put the timeline on frame 100 by clicking on this blue area here that moves the playhead and then go up to file import and anime studio object and then click on the particle layer double click it and bring it in and notice now the particles layer is there and also it's placed this uh, red area in only in this layer here for the particles if I click on layer one where the box is uh, you won't see it I click on particles layer here and can see it this means that nothing is going to play from on these frames until it gets to this area here where a keyframe is now you also notice that the time for the particles layer extends all the way out and keeps extending well maybe we don't want it to go that long and just want it to go for about a hundred frames so what you do is click on this green line and it sets the very last keyframe for the particle layer and you can move it back and forth and make it as long as you want so now when I play this file play the project you don't see anything happening until it's going to get to that frame and then there's going to be uh, particles coming out now also you can adjust the stacking order if you want the box in front and the uh, particles in the back just drag it down can move it around like that and it, it works out the same any way that uh, you want it to go and that concludes this tutorial of one way of bringing um, animated objects into your stage here and making um, them happen on a certain at a certain time on the timeline Thank you very much for watching this tutorial, and I hope this helps you, and uh, you'll watch another tutorial in the future. Thank you very much for watching. Bye now.